60s to the lower 80s. Just about perfect weather for the next seven days, Tessa. And I agree. Well, when Hurricane Charlie hit Florida back in 2004, young Zach Bonner saw children just like him in real need, and he stepped in. And Zach created the Little Red Wagon Foundation to raise money and awareness for homeless children. And tonight, a movie premieres right here in the Low Country about Zach's passion, and we're so happy to have Zach here with us this morning. And I think I'm more excited and humbled to meet you, I think, I believe, because let everybody know, how old were you in 2004 when you started this? Uh, when I started the foundation, I was six years old. So, so how does a six-year-old come up with something like that? Um, well, you know, it was back in 2004 after Hurricane Charlie mm -hmm. hit Florida. Um, and originally we were supposed to get hit by the hurricane, uh, but in the last hour or so it veered off its course and hit uh, just south of us. Mm -hmm. So we had collected up all this extra food and water and supplies uh, in preparation for the hurricane. Mm -hmm. But, you know, then we didn't end up needing it in this area that got hit and hadn't prepared for it really at all. Right. Um, and so it was just, uh, you know, in kindergarten we're, we're taught, uh, you know, if we have something extra that we should share, if we have extra crayons that we should, you know, share with our friends. And so it was just that kind of mindset, I guess, of we had mm -hmm. this extra supplies that other people needed and we should share. Awesome. And so where does the little red wagon come in? Because that's how you delivered some of that stuff, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I I started with my little red wagon collecting up the supplies and uh, it ended yeah. up getting uh, too big for the wagon. So we ended yeah. up using a pickup truck and mm -hmm. uh, we collected 27 truckloads of uh, mm -hmm. supplies. And you decided to hit the road and you went from Tampa to Washington, D.C. first. Uh, that's right. I walked from, uh, from Tampa to Washington, D.C. Uh, it was called My House, the White House, and that was to bring awareness to youth homelessness. And then in 2010, I walked from Jacksonville Beach to the Santa Monica Pier, wow. uh, also to bring awareness to homeless youth. So now your passion is coming to the big screen. Right. How, do you, how does that make you feel? Uh, you know, it, it's really exciting, uh, you know, for us to, it's, it's been probably about six years in the making since the beginning of the, of, of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's just, it's great for it to finally, uh, you know, go up on the screens. It was filmed right here in Charleston. That's right. We're looking at so, some of the video uh, right there right now. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so we're, we're really excited to bring it here to Charleston and uh, hopefully use it as a way to bring a lot of awareness to, to youth homelessness. Awesome. And so tonight's premiere is right here in Charleston and you're going to also have a uh, opening in Indianapolis and you've already had one in Philly, correct? Uh, that's, uh, we released in Philly mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks ago and then uh, Indianapolis and Charleston are releasing at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so yeah, we're, we're really excited. We're releasing in some other cities uh, later on during the year. Right. So that would be depending on how well it does when it opens in these other cities, right? Right. Uh, we're we're uh, releasing in ten cities for sure, but mm -hmm. based on how well we do uh, in the different cities and on the opening weekends, mm -hmm. then uh, we'll start to branch onto other theaters and it'll be carried over for uh, you know for a long amount of time, and uh, hopefully more people will see it. Now you delivered about how, four thousand backpacks. You did a good thing. Uh, yes. Over four thousand backpacks. Packs. Over 4,000 backpacks filled with uh, food and other basic supplies, as well as a candy pack and a small toy to uh, homeless youth all across the country. Wow, this is so awesome. Of course, the premiere is going to be tonight, um, October 19th, and it's going to run through the 25th at Regal Palmetto Grand Theater in Mount Pleasant. I guess we're showing a little clip right there then um, from the movie. So if anyone wants to go to it, we do encourage you to check it out. Those are the show times right there. And uh, who's the young man that's playing you? Uh, that's Chandler Canterbury. He played uh, alongside Nicolas Cage in The Knowing, um, as well as he was young Benjamin Button. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had a great cast. We had director um, David Anspa, who did Rudy and Hoosiers, yes. uh, and screenwriter Patrick Duncan, yeah. who did Mr. Holland's Opus. So uh, wow. you know, we had some great. You've got some big names behind you, behind a very big passion to have started with someone so young, where most kids aren't thinking about kind of giving back and, and helping the others. So that really says much about your character and who you are this as a person. A and thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And I've got to shake your hand. <laughs> you, you, you don't know how big this is. Remember his name, Zach Bonner. Remember his face. You're going to be seeing more of him. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, Consumer News and Pop News are coming up next. Stick around.